It was our second record with John Collinson, and I think most importantly we decided to go back with him because of the excellent experience we had on Blue Record, first of all. I think we were all really happy about that record, and in that process developed a friendship with him. We wanted a little bit of a different production. Like pedal sounds and guitar sounds, and even like vocal kind of layering, and maybe we didn't know we were going to do until we got in there. It's too late to to do we wanted some different drum sounds and Alan did a great job I pretty much knew what I wanted to do I, with drum wise stuff so we mapped everything out and then just took it to John we ended up with enough time that we could play around using new instruments so there's this little bits like that they're a little more interesting the magic of that spontaneity that level of Oh shit, I hope this works. It's just being together in the studio that you kind of get these, capture these moments. That... It's just right there in the studio, whatever you were feeling, it was planned. And then there was like other things like, oh, let's try this, let's layer this kind of thing, let's put some weird stuff on here, which was kind of the magical moment for me in that sense. But I think a lot of the stuff was like sounds, <laughs> keyboard sounds. We used John's array of keyboards to lesser and greater effects, and we played. Glock and Spiels, and you know, we just kind of fiddled around with all, with all sorts of percussive things to see what worked, you know, to see what added to the song as opposed to, you know, took away from it. There was a really good pan flute moment. <laughs> that is total fucking pan. <laughs> Like there were key moments like, I mean the keys I played on there, like specifically like the key moments, like the, the key moments. keys, those were key moments, they were, you're right, it's true. It is pretty gross. There were wet keys, like with reverb on them, because they were wet. Gross. Like wet, it sounds like gross and wet. <laughs> it's Poseidon's milk. <laughs> John Collinson has this uncanny ability to hear something incessant rapidly. Crossfade. Crossfade. Get a feel for it. Show me no corner, I can't stand the sun. Very few things we would throw at him would, would stump him. Especially if we if we asked his opinion. I think the top end is a little cooler on the other one. He'd let you know, you know? He was very honest with us and we needed that. You guys should be ashamed of yourself. For what? It's because, you know, up until that point, no one had heard this stuff. So by the time we hit the studio with it all, even though these songs had been written and demoed, there was still a lot of stuff that I was unsure of. You want me to do that while you're hitting those? That would sound pretty fucking cool. John and I both really wanted to leave some magic for the studio. You can do it like this. Capturing that lightning in a bottle. That little spark is something awesome, and we did that. We got that on this record. That's why working with John is such a treat for us because sometimes the worst, you know, seemingly the worst ideas can yield unexpected and oftentimes like very, very amazing results. Where you know somebody will just say some offhanded remark as you know almost as like a joke like ah, wouldn't it be funny if we use that in the song and he'll look at you and go well why not it's a thought that occurred to you maybe it is a joke but maybe it'll work we'll try doing stuff like that and a lot of that shit ends up on the record. Yeah.